Hi, uh, it's me, Miriam. Um, this is my very first YouTube video on this channel, so I'm a little nervous. But I had this tutorial and I really wanted to share it. In June, I'm going to a, uh, an event called Cosplay Against Bullying, where I'm dressing up as Ladybug. So I've ordered a costume on eBay, but I didn't like the mask, and I was like, okay, how can I paint the mask on? And I was like, I don't have face paint, and then suddenly I got an idea to use lipstick. So basically my mask is made out of makeup, including lipstick. So this is gonna see how it goes. Um, and when I first start with the base, because you need foundation and stuff. Okay, so first I'm going to make sort of a marinette tutorial-ish um, in case you want to cosplay as marinette first and then be ladybug or just tra transform as marinette or I don't know, it's just get, get the base so you know. I just put my hair in pigtails to uh, resemble marinette because she has pigtails and she sort of has have these bangs but I don't have her bangs, like they go across my face, I just have to decide, so that's what I'm going to use. And since I have my hair in my face right now, <laughs> I'm going to use some bobby pins to just get it out of my face. Okay, so first I'm starting off with foundation, and I use Mary Kay CC Cream, so it's not actually a foundation, it's a CC cream. And I use my Huda Beauty palette, Desert Dusk, as a mirror. There, and now I'm using concealer, and I also have a Mary Kay concealer, because I like to have uh, concealer and foundation in the same brand. Uh, I don't actually know why I put my concealer this way. I just do. <laughs> Okay, so my Canon camera that I was using, it's not actually mine, <laughs> it stopped working, it was like busy uh, function and we just couldn't continue filming, so I switched to my phone, not that it's a better choice, but it's the only choice I have since I really want to film this today, so we're just going to get started. The second thing, the third thing I'm going to do is put on some powder. I have Viva La Divas. I just bought it because it's cheap and I have this Real Technique brush and so I'm just going to put on some powder to just set my foundation and concealer. And now I'm going to use a little blush because Marinette has very rosy cheeks and I'm using Sephora's blush because it came in this sort of gift bag they gave gave me when I was in Romania and I used this Ebelin brush so what I do when I put on blush I take a little bit of it, I dab and I put it upwards right here on my cheeks so I get this rosy feeling Um, yeah. Uh, so Marinette actually has very dark eyebrows and I've already done mine so I'm not going to fill them in. What I would recommend is use, I use a Morphe palette but I guess it's the same. I suggest a dark blue or a black to fill in her eyebrows. And now let's move on to the mask. Tiki spots on. The first step of the mask 
again, I'm taking this Morphe palette. The first step of the mask is that I use this red eyeshadow from this Morphe palette to just outline the mask. Um, so if I do mistakes, it's okay. But before I even get started with that, I'm going to take off my eyebrows because it's easier to work. So I'm eyebrowless now, and the reason is because uh, we're going to cover up the eyebrows actually. Because I don't know if you noticed, but when Ladybug has her mask on, you can't really see her eyebrows. So that's what I'm going to do. I first start under my eyes because I can. Now you can see it's sort of like a pink shade and her mask is not pink but it's just sort of like a sketch you might call it. Now that I've outlined the mask, I'm going to use lipstick. Yes, that's right, lipstick. I am going to use NYX. Wait, let me check the name. Rouge à la Verve. I can't even pronounce it. It's a matte lipstick. It's red. It's dark. That's all you need to know. So the thing is, lipstick does actually work as face paint. So it's a money saving thing if you have a red lipstick. So first I'm going to put a little bit off my lipstick on my face and I'm going to spread it out with this. So now I've finished the lipstick part with the mask and you have to add more layers but it, it takes some time so I didn't want to show you everything because there's a lot of details around the mask. And I avoided my eyelids to make it more of a mask effect like to show I'm actually wearing a mask. And now we really get the spots on. So like I did last time, I used eyeshadow to just kind of control everything and get things where I wanted to. We're going to do the same with the spots. So we're going to use some black eyeshadow to dab, 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 dab it on. So it's very hard to get that circle shape around your nose because your nose is not circled. But we can fix that. This is just an outlining, so it's okay. She has five spots in her face. Just one in the middle, two on the sides, and two up on the side. And now that we have all our spots on, we're going to really mark out our spots. For this, I'm using um, <laughs> this. I don't really know. I can't pronounce the brand. And we're going to really mark out our spots. Okay, so I forgot this when I was showing you my marionette tutorial, but this is very useful. I think most of you heard that if you use um, white eye pencil, your eyes will pop out, and marionette has very big eyes, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our eyes pop.
So we made it. We made them pop, sort of. And now the crown of the. Wait, what? Yeah, the crown of the work, the eyelashes. Because I don't know if you noticed, but Ladybug has like eyelashes outside her mask. So that what we're gonna do, we're gonna use fake eyelashes. This is optional, but if not, use another layer of mascara. So I have House of Lashes lashes, and they're upside down. <laughs> and I just bought this glue from, I don't know, it says eye candy, I'm not sure. And I can't really put on false lashes, so this will be fun. <laughs> never done it on my own before so my instruction says to use some glue wait 30 seconds and then put it on but if you have other instructions definitely check the instructions on your glue that is okay we have one lash on sort of you can still see that there is a split between my real ones and the fake one <laughs> but i'm not gonna bother because i really can't put eyelashes on i just wanted to try for the effects Oh my gosh. That is seriously life accomplishments. I, I, okay, I almost got it right on my first try. What? Okay, this is my second time using eyelashes by myself and I managed to do it perfectly. <laughs> I'm like so proud. Okay, they're almost perfect. This is my first and second time trying fake eyelashes by myself. I need a round of applause. Thanks. And the finishing touch. I said this was the finishing touch, but I changed my mind. This is the finished touch. It's lipstick and again, some mixed products because NYX is very good, actually. And I have the color... Wait, I know this. I know this. Exotic. It's called Exotic. So we're going to use this on our lips to give that red marinette lip. Or ladybug lip. Lipstick is also optional, actually. But... I just figured, why not? So that was my ladybug mask using Oli makeup tutorial <laughs> with some fails and it was very difficult to make and we had to use several cameras and thanks for my brother to stand by my side. I'm gonna give him a shout out even though I have no subscribers. His name is Dave C-A-L-M um, and he he is a gamer so if you like that just check him out. Anyways, thank you for watching and that is a wrap.